So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P1166 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P1166 code? Well, it's an air fuel ratio A of sensor, sensor one, heater system, electrical problem. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors on the exhaust to know how much oxygen has been burnt off during combustion. And there could also be heat sensors inside of these. And they monitor the catalytic converter since when the catalytic converter starts to fail, it heats up. So it can't be like a combination heat sensor, oxygen sensor. And the onboard computer is seeing a problem with this, so it to be trouble you know why and some of the possible causes it could be a bad sensor could be in the wiring like an open or short or bad connection and possibly a fuse or a relay and so the number of heat sensors on the exhaust can vary depending on the honda and the year and the model and all this uh, there can be two four and sometimes more oxygen sensors on the exhaust but very common there's like two even though again this can't vary but what's going on with these is that uh, the first one on the exhaust before the catalytic converter would be sensor one it's also called the upstream and the one after the catalytic converter is called sensor two and it's called the downstream oxygen sensor and so so the first thing to do is going to be to locate the sensor one oxygen sensor on your particular Honda. And again, there can't be multiple ones. There can't be like four on newer Hondas. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram or layout for your particular Honda to find that particular sensor. And sometimes these can be located down compartment like this. And sometimes they're located up inside the engine compartment like this one, right on the exhaust manifold. Again, it could just vary depending on the Honda. You have to either Google it or go and look at it. But either way, it'd be the first thing to do is go locate that sensor one. And once you do locate it, you're going to want to check out the wiring real good because this code is pointing towards a wiring issue. Even though it might be a bad sensor, you're going to want to check out this wiring. Be sure that there's no open shorts or anything like this. Be sure it's got a good connection and there's no issues with that. And one thing to mention about this is that this is on a fuse and sometimes a relay. And so th the way they're labeled inside of the fuse box is going to be differently depending on the model. I don't know why they do that, but they'll label them differently. So you might have to Google it for your particular year. But like this one right here, it's saying AF heater, that would be a relay. And over here, the AF heater fuse would be the fuse for this circuit. And this is usually located inside the engine compartment. So you pop the hood open and it's usually right there to the right. There'll be a box, you pop it open and there's usually a fuse in there. Again, they can be labeled differently. So again, just varies. But be sure the fuse is good. And if there's a relay, be sure that's good. And so if you've gone through and you check the wiring and that all looks good, there's no issues there. There's no blown fuse. There's no bad relay or anything like that. Then very likely that oxygen sensor has gone bad and just needs to be replaced. And they're low cost parts. They're not extremely high cost or anything. They're about 50 to 100 bucks. They range around that. And what thing to mention about these is that when they're down here on the bottom of the exhaust you usually can get them off with an open end wrench but when they're up inside the engine compartment then they need a special tool to get them back in since they can't be recessed down in there and so they can be kind of difficult to get back in with this wire there so the special tool is sometimes needed not all the time sometimes it's not needed especially if it's down underneath the car farther down the exhaust but go and look at yours because you might have to get this special tool if it is recessed down into the manifold like inside of this image and so that's basically it i just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P1166 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.